1953 Corvette C1. The Chevrolet Corvette C1 is the first generation of the Corvette sports car. It debuted late in the 1953 model year and was built until 1962. It first appeared as a show car for the 1953 General Motors Motorama. In 1953, the price for the first production model Corvettes was $3,490. 1959 Corvette XP87 Stingray Racer Concept The XP87 concept was first introduced in 1959. The design was based on a sketch by designer Pete Brock and was further developed by Larry Shinoda. The car is powered by a 4.6-liter naturally aspirated V8 engine that produces 315 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. 1961 Mako Shark Concept The Mako Shark Concept car was designed by Larry Shinoda under the direction of GM design head Bill Mitchell. The car is based on a 1961 Corvette, which along with the Stingray. It was finished with an iridescent blue and white paint job that gave it the appearance of a shark. 1963 Chevrolet Corvette C2 Stingray The second generation C2 Corvette, which introduced the Stingray to the model, continued with fiberglass body panels and overall was smaller than the first generation. Production started for the 1963 model year and ended in 1967. 1965 Mako Shark 2 Concept The concept was first introduced at the New York Auto Show in 1965. The vehicle had influenced the great-looking design of the 1968 C3 Corvette production model. The Mako Shark 2 was powered by a 425-horsepower version of Chevrolet's turbojet 396 V8 engine, which would later become available on production Corvettes. Nineteen sixty eight Chevrolet Corvette C three. The Corvette C three launched for the nineteen sixty eight model year and remained in production until nineteen eighty two. The design featured hidden windshield wipers and headlights and removable T tops. It introduced monikers that were later revived, such as the LT one, ZR one, Z O seven, and Collector Edition. Nineteen seventy nine was the highest production year for the Corvette with 53,807 units built. A total of 542,741 units were produced over the course of 14 years. That's impressive. 1983 Chevrolet Corvette C4 The fourth-generation Corvette was the first time the car had been completely redesigned since 1963. Production of the C4 started in 1983 and ended in 1996. A total of 358,180 units were produced. 1997 Chevrolet Corvette C5 The C5 generation was introduced in 1997. Production of the car actually began in 1996 but quality issues saw its release to the public in mass delayed until 1997 and continuing through the 2004 model year. The Corvette C5 was a significant upgrade over its predecessor, the C4, with an all-new engine, a new frame, an improved gearbox placement, and entirely fresh styling. The 2001 Chevrolet Corvette C5 Z06 the Z06 was designed as a high-performance sports version of the Corvette C5 and was first introduced in 2001. This new model was created to match the attributes of its strong 5.7-liter LS6 V8 engine, continuing the history of Chevrolet Corvette C2 Z06. 2005 Chevrolet Corvette C6 The Corvette C6 was first released in the autumn of 2004 and was sold from 2005 to 2013. 
The sports car featured new bodywork with exposed headlamps, revised suspension geometry, a larger passenger compartment, a larger 6-liter V8 engine, and a higher level of refinement. In fact, in 2012, Corvettes accounted for nearly one-third of all sports car sales in America. 2009 Corvette Stingray Concept The Corvette Stingray Concept was designed by Ed Welburn and unveiled at the 2009 Chicago Auto Show. It was launched to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the original 1959 Corvette Racer Concept it also appeared in the movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen as the character Sideswipe's alternate mode. The car was powered by a hybrid Stingray powertrain, which combined an LS Series V8 with a hybrid system. Twenty thirteen Corvette Stingray. GM started preparing for the C7 many years before its actual debut date. Planning began in 2007 and was meant to lead to the debut model in 2011. However, it was delayed. It was not until 2013 the Corvette C7 was officially introduced at the North American International Auto Show. The car has won the Performance Car of the Year 2013 and Automobile of the Year 2014 awards. 2017 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 The Corvette ZR1 was unveiled at the 2017 Dubai Motor Show for the 2019 model year. The car is powered by a 6.2-liter supercharged V8 engine that produces an astounding 755 horses and 715 pound-feet of torque. With performance specs like a 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint of just 2.85 seconds, a dash down the quarter mile in 10.6 seconds, and a top speed of 212 miles per hour. Corvette C7 ZR1 is the fastest, most powerful VET ever made. 2019 Corvette Stingray C8 The Corvette Stingray C8 was unveiled in April 2019, and the coupe made its official appearance on July 18, 2019 at the Kennedy Space Center at a media event. The C8 is the first production Corvette with a rear mid-engine layout, it's also GM's first rear mid-engine production vehicle since the Pontiac Fiero in 1984. 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 made its official debut on October 26, 2021. The supercar boasts the most powerful, naturally aspirated production V8 ever. Specifically, a 5.5-liter V8 engine produces 670 horsepower at 8,400 RPM and 460 pound-feet of torque at 6,300 RPM. Get the astonishing performance of sprinting from 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds.